So Cap has been living up in the city of Iloilo in the Mandorio area in a subdivision, far off in the subdivision. Spends most of the time driving out here to Tigbawan where we're at and where the girl that he uh, talks to and all lives out over in this town also here. And so uh, Cap, while he was out this way, happened to see a for rent sign on the house, which is normally the best way you find a house here in the Philippines is just getting out and about and seeing a sign. Not everybody posts everything on the internet here. And Cap found this little house right here. Really nice looking little house. Uh, the yard was just overgrown. There was junk all in it. Um, they've cut down big trees as you can see here and all. So the landlord is doing a property cleanup right now, but it's a good looking little house. It's right on the main highway that goes around uh, Highway 501 that passes around this side of the island. It's got a little uh, gated little driveway right here coming in and it's a pretty cool looking little place but it does have to have a lot more cleanup done in the yard. For whatever reason, it was just covered over in crap. But it's a very nice looking little house. Now one of the things about this house is that the owners put this little small uh, building for a store. It's like a little restaurant or something right in front of the house. Probably so they can get additional income and all. So it does block part of the view of the front of the house. But I'm telling you, this is a really neat little home. Little planter beds, got security bars, has aluminum sliding windows. Um, you can get a good look at it here. But, you know, downside is this little store does block part of the view or a little eatery. It does block part of it. Coming inside right here, and this is going to be my first time to walk in it. Has a really nice looking ceiling and all on that. Look at that. That is just really pretty. I like it. I think it included with this bamboo furniture in here that was included when he rented it. Um, no atrocious colors or anything like that. Very neutral. Nice looking railing right here. The living room sunk. And man, nice big living room. Look how huge that living room is. We'll bring this up a little closer here. Look how huge that living room is. Got a couple steps coming up here. And um, I guess this can be used as a dining area here. It has a large kitchen, a separate door coming right off the kitchen. It's just a built-in sink, but it's really wide, two faucets. Um, nice, big, wide sink area right there. This would be a place you put your refrigerator right over here. It's got maybe like a little closet or pantry area. It sure does. That's, that's pretty cool. Lots of space. Man, those shelves are deep. They're probably every bit of... 16 inches deep and another cabinet up above as well now you got this for one heck of a deal though uh coming in here i guess it's going to be to the cr here right cap uh -huh. and then it's got a little storage shelf over here to the side but coming into the cr um it's got the little small toilet so he's going to have to really exercise his legs a lot <laughs> little shower unit um, it's just a complete wet room the drains right next to the toilet a little small sink it's not like a really fancy restroom or nothing but hey it's workable it, it does the trick it's got the window with the jewels in it so you can open up and let the CR breathe and dry out and don't get so humid let's go down here to the other end of the house really like the looks of this it's nice it got a little hallway here it has almost the layout the feel almost like a western home um, apparently they did have like a little altar a little shrine right here at the end so there's a some door here if i learn to function it not bad color tile. This is one bedroom. He's already been carrying, putting some of his stuff in here. 
Um, not too small. It's not too small at all. I mean, I see a whole lot smaller bedrooms than a lot of houses. So that's pretty good. And we'll go down here to the next one. I noticed that each room, the bathroom, everything has keys. Everything has a keyed lock on it. So this must be the master. And it actually has a king size bed frame. Now one of the downsides is, is that right through the windows, you see the tables and stuff, the people in the eatery in there. But he says he's gonna be putting curtains or blinds or he's probably, he talked to them, he's probably gonna cover their window back there uh, where they're not looking through into his private space. Um, maybe put some kind of blind in and put a curtain here. This is a really big bedroom, man. This thing is huge, but nice. And it's a pretty wide door coming into the bedroom here as well. The bedroom's nice and cool inside. That's surprising. I mean, it's no air con running. Um, we go right here, we're stepping into another bedroom. It has a bed frame already. It's included with it. Another not bad size room. It's got a lot of space here in it. Then got the second CR, same thing. It's got a little small sink, not very big. A um, little standard size toilet for the Philippines and shower area and it's all this one wet room. And then you've got the third, let's see, now it'd be the fourth, the fourth bedroom right here. Another little bed frame already included with it. A mirror on the wall. It's a nice bright room right here. And this yard continues. It continues on back over here on this other side as well, but really dirty. They're trying to do a cleanup right now. So coming on back through in here, um, we'll look out here a little bit more. So everything has steel bars on it. I don't know how these function. They roll, they slide, sliding bars. And it's got a backyard here on it. Everything needs to be cleaned up and he'll get around that in good time. The landlord's been working on it some already, but it has a nice deck back here. And it's a good looking house, I'm telling you. The only thing that's making this house not look so good, and our impressions, is all the mess in the yard. And it's actually an improvement to what it was the first time I came over and looked on the outside of the house mm -hmm. with you. It's the first time I've ever been in the house. And the, he's had people over here cleaning up and the landlord's had people here cleaning up both. Because it was nothing but a pure jungle in the yard. And as you see, lots of debris. But that can be worked down with time. Um, yeah, it's good looking. It's really good looking house. Man, they did it's nice texturing, bars, everything. So this house here, I guess y'all want to know how much he's paying for it. Man, you know, prices of rents went up here in the Philippines. So things aren't as cheap as they were. You know, it's a big house. It's a big old house, man. You look at that. A great big yard. Um, yeah. I mean, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap at all. Not at all. I guess y'all want to know what not cheap was. Just looking here at it again, man. Just look at this place. Just right on the same highway as us. Our subdivision's right against the same road right here. And we're in a small little subdivision, just a couple streets in it. And uh, very convenient. Power is staying in the landlord's name. All he has to do is pay the bill. The water stays in the landlord's name. All he has to do is pay the bill. So you have to worry about any utility stuff. So the price for his rent, and he did a lease, a sign, went to an attorney lease. It's rent. I almost hate to tell you. <laughs> I almost hate to tell you. Well, they were asking 15,000 pesos a month. And he actually even bargained them down from that because the condition with the yard and having to deal with this whole store right in his front door and all. 12,000 pesos a month. 12,000 pesos, man. 
one heck of a deal. It's no place set up any yet for an air con. Uh, there's no holes in the walls or anything where an air con has ever been. Apparently it's never had an air conditioner here. But, main agreement with the landlord that he put a hole through the wall. And he already has his own air conditioner that he bought that's in the fourplex that he's renting right now. And it's a pretty good sized unit. And he's just gonna run one unit, he says he thinks right here in the living room. And that bedroom already feels nice and cool inside. And he thinks he can probably just open the door and put a fan there and that's going to be all that he needs. Uh, if not, he may get him another little small air conditioner and put it in the bedroom and like turning one off in the living room, turning one on in the bedroom at night if uh, he needs to stay cooler, especially when dry season is coming up on us and, and here in the next few months it'll start warming up and getting really hot. Uh, this house actually feels good inside. It does not feel hot in here at all. It's got a really nice tall attic space and a sealed up ceiling here. And so it doesn't have that heat of the roof right down on the ceiling. It is a well-constructed, really nice house. Yeah, really nice house. 12,000 pesos a month. I am just as tickled as can be. I just can't believe it, man. I love this sink here. Yeah, big, yeah, showing that big wide built in sink right there and all. So, uh, they give you an idea now. There's downsides. Let's talk about downsides. If you like to be a city dweller and you want all the action and everything in the city and you just want to walk out the door and be right in the city, well, this isn't the city of Iloilo. This is a town, uh, a couple towns out from Iloilo. It's probably, what would you say, Cap? 35, 40 minute ride if the traffic's not too bad. Uh -huh. Going back into the city right now, to the side of the city where everything's nice, like Mega World, Festive Walk, um, Molo Plaza, all of that district over there, General Luna Street, Diversion Road, SM, all of that, if traffic's not bad, 35 minute ride away. And then there's uh, some malls over in the Otana area, which is Vista Mall, all that's being developed out by the Villier family there right now. And you can take the back way and cut through over there in about how long there? About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. And there's some little province roads, some actually improved new roads going through there right now. So, and it's a nice ride, it's a beautiful ride. Or he is right here in a small town, but not too small. And we have a lot of stuff right here in this town. There's a 7-Eleven just around the corner from you. Yeah. Fish market right next door. Yeah, and the, the public. Wet market. Yeah, the public market, the wet market. Yeah. And it's a big public market. Uh-huh. On a trike, it's about two minutes probably. I, I really like it. I love the ceiling in the living room. The ceiling is wonderful. And opening the windows, it gets such an air flow in here that uh, unless it's really hot out. It's nice and cool. So let's talk about internet. You were right on the highway with this property, and being that right on the highway, they offer fiber services. Mm -hmm. and if you get off the road very far, they don't offer it, but right down the highway, they do. Mm -hmm. And so you were able to get, like us, PLDT fiber. Uh -huh. Man, I'm really pleased with my PLDT fiber. It, it, it sees anything I've ever had in the U.S. All right, well, that's the Cap Home Tour, and to give you a little bit of idea, you know, what's out there and all. Cap, over at that um, fourplex that you're renting right now, how much was your rent there? 15000 a month. 15000 and you had no yard, just a little drive parking spot behind a gate on concrete. And, and it would have been difficult to get a small car in there. And all you had was, it was upstairs, downstairs. Very small, but downstairs, because the staircase took up so much of the space. Uh -huh. And uh, two and, small bedrooms upstairs. And not much of a uh, true living room or anything. No, no. Yeah. So, that, so for less money, and you got, my God, literally 15 times the place than you had. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, look at that. Look at that um, when you're out making your choices and be patient.
but ride around. Get out, ride around, and look. And if you see areas and all, just stop and ask. Ask people on the side of the road or at a little Sorry Sorry store, has anyone got a house for rent in the area? And word of mouth is the number one way in this country, okay? Word of mouth and look for the signs. They don't base everything off of ads on like Facebook and Craigslist and all these things that we're used to in other places. Um, they don't have to here because word of mouth, they put a sign out or just tell somebody's going to know fast or see it fast like Cap did. And it's a done deal. Everybody appreciate you watching the video. Comment below. Tell us what you think about it. And uh, maybe we can have a, a Cap warming, house warming barbecue party over here. <laughs> That's the way I found this place. There was a sign hanging on the fence. On the gate, yeah. It's pretty cool. Everybody, take care. God bless.